Hello and welcome back to Digging for Drez. This time around, we've got a new space plane that we're testing. Now, it is only a test, so we are working with infinite fuel to see how it flies as it would coming back from a rather long mission. So, almost out of fuel and gliding back. Underpower seems to be flying quite well. But let's gain some altitude and speed and see just how well this thing can fly. And once we iron out the uh, behaviors of it flying like this and gliding back, we will be putting it on a um, NASA Space Shuttle style launch vehicle. Okay. Cut throttles. We are now gliding. Make it turn. Slowing down quite a lot. Just turn on the nav HUD so we can see where we're going. Seems to, seems to be gliding pretty well. Peak up speed nicely. We'll aim to land at about the foot of the runway and then we'll round out and wash off speed. And also, we've got a couple new mods that we are going to be testing out at some point. We have Kerbal Attachment System and Kerbal Inventory System. They pretty much work side by side now. And we'll probably be using them on and off for a while. It won't be until we get into actual drilling rigs and mining bases that we start using Kerbal Attachment System quite a lot. I mainly want it just for the pipes, so we can transfer resources and things. We'll see all that later. And brakes. Wonderful landing. Absolutely perfect. Right, now let's stick it on a launcher. Let's see, space dart. That's just what I've called it for now.
I have no idea if this is going to work or not. No idea at all. Three, two, one. Whoa! Okay, it appears to be somewhat controllable at this time. We are going quite a ways east. Keep control of that roll. I have to fat finger it quite a bit. But we are ascending. It's a good sign. We are going somewhat vertical, and I just remembered infinite fuel. Turn that off. Okay, we seem to be going fast enough now that our wings are helping us stay straight ish. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? Behave yourself. I'm not even looking at the rocket at this point, I'm just looking at the nav ball. Yeah, this thing is so hard to fly. It keeps rolling, why does it keep rolling? Oh, the severe roll instability. It should be symmetrical. Thrust rate is 1.5 and climbing. Why are you rolling? Stop that! I start pitching down. Now I do not have an RCS system on this because it's not designed to dock. This is just designed to get close to a target if it needs to. Oh, great! Overheating. Awesome. Ah! Mayday! Mayday! Come on! No. 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 Roll. Roll. Just to flame out. Ah, come on. The, again, with the fucking roll. Instability. Evidently, this is not going to space. Dump the tank. Let's just fly. Okay. Let's try and get back onto our prograde vector. And from this point it's just spinning and trying to get under control. Bit of burning there. It's kind of unstable but we will sort it out. And chase cam. Nav hood is really good for lining up on the runway. A few air turns. Yeah. The only other way to line up with the runway easily is put a flag at the end of it. And a bit of spinning. And now it's going to be back to normal time for the final approach. Gear down. Hopefully I don't run into the launch pad glitch again. Okay, coming in hot. Flare. Whoa! Ah! Uh, I put my gear down. I put my gear down. I hit G. 
Okay, whatever. That was just a test flight. A simulation anyway. So we can go revert. And now it's just a whole lot of problem solving. Trying to figure out what went wrong. Seeing what happens to the center of mass as the fuel burns. And adding in some reaction wheels to try and help with the stability. And also moving the wings back to improve stability when aborting. Now it's time to test it again. Okay, full thrust. Yeah. Whoa! Damn it. 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 Alright. Try that again. And not hit the launch clamps this time. Yay. Alright. Don't hit the clamps. You hit the clamps. Alright. Come on. Pull it back. That's right, you hit the VAB. Alright. Easy does it. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. Now, gear it down. Okay, we seem to be nice and stable now. That's a plus. But, evidently, this is going to be a whole lot harder than I thought. And apparently, I do not have enough parachutes on those to land them. Full. And this engine has got nowhere near enough thrust to keep me flying. Let's pick up some more speed. Lock our brakes. Alright, now we've got some speed. Okay. Well, at least we know we can abort at almost any point in our launch. That's at least something. Once more with feeling. Oh, come on. Come on. Bloody clamps. All this westward motion is wasted delta V. At least we appear to be a bit more stable now. I really should have a um, payload in here, just in case I actually get the thing flying into orbit. I do already have a payload lined up for it. A uh, control module for the space station. I can't remember if I've mentioned that in previous episodes or not. But, they appear to be at least a little bit more stable in our launch profile this time. I've now got a total of five reaction wheels in that center tank all hidden away with offset. Let's just hope when our boosters burn out that we remain stable. No RCS. And no monoprop anyway. Launch it a bit higher angle this time. Okay, this is separation on five, four, three, two, one. Burnout and separation. Clean separation, and we are stable. 
or not. Oh boy. Yeah, we caught it. And we are overheating. Great. And we are also decelerating. No matter. No matter. He can fly this. He can fly this. Okay. Okay, we're stable at this time, I think. Okay, apparently SAS does not have enough authority to keep us stable, so I'm gonna have to fly this manually. And yes, those engines and flags are overheating quite a lot. But at least we are ascending. Okay, and apparently these winglets aren't exactly happy either. Okay, I'm pitching down too much. Let's just hold this position. Okay, we've got 45 seconds left of this fuel. Maintain this orientation. Okay, we're accelerating at two G's now. Two G's. And Aquabs is rising nicely. And bridging burnout in ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. We have Miko. Okay, let's roll. Ditch tank and fire our center engine. Come on. this point, okay, why are we unstable in our yaw axis? I do not understand why we are unstable in yaw. The engine is perfectly centered. There is no fuel imbalance. This is annoying. But at least we have gotten this shuttle further than we have before. I think I might need a small reaction wheel module on this spacecraft, or maybe RCS, I don't know. I might just put RCS on it for rotation, not necessarily translation. Alright, Apoeps is 90 kilometers. I know what's wrong. No? Come on. Hold X. What's wrong is that my your is locked. As in the trims. Okay. That's why we were unstable. Because my trims were off. Why would that happen? Okay. Okay, I think they're still. Let's. That roll trim is off a bit too. No, roll trim was good. Okay. Apparently, Alt X. Yeah. Roll trim, uh, sorry, your trim is completely off. Alt X shifts it over to the side. Great, my trims are broken. All right, 
I'm accelerated it a bit and killed rotation. We're good. Finally. Hey, we just got a shuttle into space. I made a lot of um, heartache, namely in the uh, controls department. But hey, we're here. We are very hot. But we have made it into space and we will easily make it to orbit. Oh, great. And our solar panels are heating up. So yeah, as you can see, heat's propagating through these engines. You're still giving me hassles. The heat's propagating through these engines into the rest of the spacecraft quite a lot. But after a while in space, that heat should dissipate, especially in, along the night side. So, we will make orbit, and then it'll be time to uh, end this episode. In the next episode, we shall see the landing attempts of this shuttle. as well as the launch of a new part for the space station. I'll use a conventional rocket for that because this is still got a long way to go before it's useful for um, actual payloads. But hey, we have got a space plane into space, into orbit, without losing any kerbals. Getting it back would be another story. But, until next time, see you later. <laughs>